Love Don't Cost a Thing, Jennifer Lopez. And see, I'm surprised Diddy ain't on the credits for this because this is the time that she was dating um, Diddy. And Diddy is the one who gave her the R&B swag. You know what I'm saying? If Diddy wasn't next to her in the 2000s, you would not heard of this motherfucker ever again in life. He got her so hot as an R&B artist and had the right motherfuckers producing and writing for her to where she ended up becoming an actress. If Diddy is not there, none of that other shit happens. I'm telling you, she's she's working at fucking Costco or in somebody's office building somewhere. Didn't Selena come out before 2000? Selena? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the um this uh, the Latin artist who got um assassinated at con- at a concert, right? I think somebody- she got she didn't get killed at a concert, but she got killed. But I think Selena came out before two thousand. If you're saying that Diddy got her in acting, no, no, I'm talking about Jennifer Lopez. I know she was Selena in the movie. Oh, really? All right, now we got to do that. Let me wait. Let's slide step real quick. Selena movie. Bitty, bitty, bum, bum. 1997. What? Jennifer Lopez. Edward James almost. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, all right. So, but this is still probably around the time because she was with Diddy around, yeah. So that's still, that's still Diddy time. Mm-mm. She, uh, well, from what I heard, is she knew her personally. Let's see. When did Diddy? J Lo and Diddy, I feel like was dating in two thousand two. Nah, let me see. Well, we're gonna confirm now. When did Diddy date? Because she was wearing low rise jeans in that picture. That when she was wearing all white. So all right, so J Lo was entry level, popping. Clearly, if she did a whole movie starring as Selena, but you know that's like really you know a Latin movie. Well, no, she um, she was doing um, cause, what's that one song? What's uh, she was background for music videos? I remember her being in Janet Jackson specifically, and then before that, she was on In Living Color dancing. So she was just a dancer. Exactly. Matter of fact, all right. So now we we're gonna do another side step just to go into J Lo history real quick. Just to get her timeline down. And then at some point she came in and stole Ashanti's vocals. She did some shit as a kid, I'm assuming, in 1986. <laughs> she was in a music video in 1990. EPMD. She was in an EPMD video in 1991. In 86, she had to have been like 19. Um, Samantha Fox. Video 1991, Janet Jackson, music video 93, in Living Color. She was in 62 episodes as a fly girl dancer on that series from 91 to 93. She was in a movie, um, Nurses on the Lawn in 93. TV show, she was in nine episodes as an actual character with a name instead of extra number one. <laughs> South Central TV series. I didn't even know they had a South Central TV series. That's crazy. Um, okay. 94 TV. 95. I forgot about Anaconda. Money Train is when she first appeared on my radar. At least from you know my personal perspective. Because it was her, Wesley, and Woody Harrelson. I was like, who this joint? Okay, so she popped on my personal radar in 95 with that. I don't know about on these other shits. I didn't even know she was in a Selena music video. And then I didn't know that she would end up playing Selena. Now, I definitely, because she was in Anaconda with Ice Cube, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I and um, uh, Anthony, whatever. I didn't even know she was she- in... Shorty was in U-Turn? That's crazy. That been around the world probably when they started. Oh, so the original U-Turn. Is that Liam Neeson? No, that's Sean Penn. Oh. Wow. I might have to 
watch that shit again type shit. This is like when they started those horror movies of regular people getting stranded in the middle of redneck territory type shit. But yeah, that's crazy. Oh, well, let me go back in. Yeah, Shorty put her little... She put her grind in. So I can't take nothing around her from her. Been around the world. That was the hottest shit. Period. Um... I, don't, I never heard of that movie out of sight. Um, then, of course, her little music videos. She did some shit with Mark Anthony, 1998. Had her solo shit. Notorious Big, featuring Puff, 99. If You Had My Love, No Me. If you had my love, I'm a yeah, I said you me. So boom, feeling so good and wait for waiting for tonight, 1999. This is Diddy. Like I said, the pair met in 1999 when Diddy, don't, known as Puff, worked on her. Oh, he had, worked on her video. Yep. Blah 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 blah. But then, of course, that's when his artist Sean shot somebody, some girl in the face. And then Diddy, I mean, J-Lo got the fuck up out of there and got probably with Ben, what's the white boy, Ben Affleck? Affleck. And then she- No, I thought she was with Mark Anthony. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She got with Mark Anthony, but once she parted with Diddy, that's when she starred in this movie right here, The Cell in 2000, which I remember going to the theater to watch that shit. I wasn't impressed. I seen I'm, the wedding plan. But I was like, okay, she about to be out of here. Uh, the only movies I remember from back then is The Wedding Planner, Enough, Selena. Um, there's a Made in Manhattan. I was like, that's another one she's annoying in. That one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I ain't watched none of those. Besides that first one, of course, I remember that video, Jenny from the Block. Ooh, I want a talent show to that song. What, this one? Yep. G I was walking up the stairs to get my prize, and I spilled my Pepsi all over the stage, tripped over the stairs. Jersey girl. Get yeah, right. I did my uh, jazz and hip hop dance to that song for a, uh, what's it called? I guess a, con a fall concert. Lopez featuring Fat Joe, Hold You Down. Oh, Monster in Law. I forgot about that movie, too. Yeah. You got to put, I got to put respect on her name. She done put her grind in. When nigga resume is thick like this like she wasn't sitting around slouching the bitch was moving to go up that ladder of success to be who she is now i gotta respect it 